Welcome back to Clark's Art Culinary. Today we're going to be frying up this beautiful sheep's head fish. I'm going to cut the fish up in steaks. We've got the fish cut up into steaks and now we're going to season. So let's just turn these over to where the seasoning can actually get to the meat. And we're going to sprinkle with some salt. Pick up this little guy and sprinkle on there. And we are gonna cook the head, so let's salt him too. And a lot of people don't know, there's a lot of meat on a head, so don't throw them away. And if you don't wanna eat the head, you can always use it for stock. And let's just turn this fish over. Get some salt on the other side. Let's add some fresh cracked black pepper. And let's sprinkle on some garlic powder. Just a nice light dusting over and this is a really good fish they eat shrimp and other crustaceans so the flesh is very sweet and it's not a fishy tasting fish it's really delicious um, I've seen them priced as low as like $2.99 per pound today I paid $4.99 per pound but it's a really good fish so if you happen to see sheep's head fish definitely get them and try them. The fish is seasoned. We're gonna go and get the flour and get that seasoned as well, and then we'll be ready to fry. Make sure your container has a sealable top. This is two cups of all-purpose flour. To that, we're gonna be adding one tablespoon of salt, two tablespoons of black pepper, half a tablespoon of garlic powder, half a tablespoon of cayenne pepper, and half a teaspoon of celery seed. Let's mix to combine the ingredients. You always wanna season your flour. I'm gonna go ahead and add our first few pieces of fish that we're gonna fry here. Just pop those in, put the top on. And you guys know the deal here, shake. All right, let's get frying. I've got my five quart pot here, three quarts full of oil. I also have a rack at the bottom so that the fish doesn't go to the bottom and burn. So I'm gonna go ahead and add these pieces of fish and I'm just gonna dust them off. Let's go ahead and add the fish. I've got my temperature set to high right now and I may decrease it a little bit later. We don't want our fish to cook too fast. The fish has been frying now for eight minutes. We wanna get a good deep golden brown fry on it. So we're just gonna let it cook for about two to three more minutes and we're gonna pull it. And I have decreased the heat down to medium. And it's time for us to take the fish out. Beautiful, golden brown, exactly what we want. Crispy. And to cool, definitely put it on a rack so it does not humidify. Always properly cool your fried foods. A rack is always best. Okay. Beautiful. Just let you look at that. And we've got some more to fry, so let's get that in here. And the fry time is basically about 10 to 12 minutes. And you'll have some nice, crispy, 
fish. Oh, that's a big piece. That is going to be really good. Mm. I want this piece. That's mine. Okay, got a little tail here. And here's that fish head. As promised, we're gonna fry it. In it goes. From head to fin, I think this is a win. What do you all think? Beautiful, tender, crispy, fried sheep's head fish. Ooh, that's good. I'm gonna just spin you all around to see all this fish here. I hope you all enjoy this video. Please be sure to like, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification icon so that you can be notified of our next video upload. Always remember, I'm here for you Monday through Friday with new video uploads. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.